Hi guys, it's me Carrie, and we are back with as my one of the dudes that I just worship in life, Joe Bob Briggs might say, box numero two o, the Gotcha Gotcha by Japan crate. I received two of these in the mail today as a complete and total like blindside uh, friend mail from my amazing friend Jeannie, and you can watch my opening of the March crate in the video just prior to this one. This one I. I'm presuming will be the February crate because I wouldn't imagine April's out yet, but it could be. I've never purchased this crate before, but I am in love with them. It is, I am correct, the February 2021. Did I say 2020? I think I did. 2021 crate. We're not going to even look at this until we're done. We are going to just grab the goodies out. But as I've discovered, Gotcha Gotcha just reminds me of stuff that you would get out of like a crane game or a claw game, depending on what you call it, that you would play it like Dave and Buster's or, you know, one of those types of places. So you get this little nest of straw and then you get six wonderful capsules inside. So I'm learning based on the first video. And these boxers are super cute, by the way. Like they're nice and sturdy too. And like so many other subscription boxes, you could actually probably turn the box inside out. And then all of these cute designs would be on the outside of the box. And they're, like I said, they're sturdy. So these are good for storing little goodies in. And that is what I will do with mine. But let's empty this out. And then I think I'm going to have to cut some tape off these. So I'm going to pause for a minute while I get them unsealed and then we'll open them up together. Okay, my friends, we have gotten the little capsules open. So we have, like I said, five different capsules. And of course, the hoarder in me is thinking to myself, what can I do to repurpose these capsules? I know they need to go in the garbage or in the recycling bin. I know they do, but it's kind of killing me because they're so cute. We'll start with the blue one because blue is my favorite color. And we'll put the capsule right in there so I'm not tempted to keep it. And let's see what we have in here. Oh my god, it's a Pikachu! I love Pokemon Go and I love Pikachu. That is really cute. It's like Indiana Jones Pikachu or something. Like I saw like what looks like a cowboy hat, but then it looks like he's got a whip, which kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones. So let's just kind of see if we can get this open get our little friend out. Sorry, we've got like the MASH 4077. You youngins won't get that reference outside my house. We always hear loud copters flying by, but it's a beautiful day, so I have to have my window open. Look at how cute. He's got an apple like ready to throw, and then he's got like his Indiana Jones looking whip here. Not sure which way this is supposed to go. I don't know if the hole goes through both ways. And I also don't know if I'm going to be able to get him to hold it with one hand possibly not but you get the idea he holds the whip <laughs> and let's look at this Takara Tomy Arts there's our checklist of all of the Pikachus we could have gotten oh, oh it's not just Pikachus it's different Pokemon but there is a samurai there is this little guy that we got there's one with a huge hammer there is this little guy who I don't know who that is and this little guy well, I'm not sure who that is either. I love Pokemon Go, but I don't know the, all the characters. And then a bunch of Japanese writing that unfortunately I cannot read. But there is our checklist. So that is super cute. And we'll put it inside the box here. And then which one? We'll do a big one next. We'll do the yellow one because it's closer to me. Let's see what we've got in here. Ah, oh, this stuff is so much fun. This looks like it's an inflatable. It's like a ball, I think. Or is it a coin purse? Excuse me. I think I just burped. That was kind of gross. It's a coin purse. Actually, that's bigger than a coin purse. That could hold lots of different goodies. That is super cute. I don't recognize this character, but I love that he or she has a little bird. Oh, and they're crying. I can definitely relate to that. I've been doing a lot of that lately. And this one does not have a checklist. Seems like there's one in each box that the checklist, it's just like information, but it doesn't show you a variety of characters or anything. So we can toss that because I can't read in Japanese, but that is so cute. So this is like the shape of it. I can't get it to fully expand, but it's a good size little purse. 
That is super cute. And it has a little zipper and a little key ring on the side, a little ball chain so you could attach it to something. I love that. So that is item number two. Then we're going to go back to a small, let's go with green. I like green. Oh, <gasps> ah! Tom Nook, Tom Nook. I love Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked. There's an Animal Crossing item in here. You have no idea. I am obsessed. All that has really gotten me through this pandemic and helped me to not completely lose the remaining portion of my shit that I've lost over the past 47 years of my life has been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I also, FYI, play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So if you wish to add me on either of those, you can leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to share my info. And we can be friends on either of those games and play together because I play them both daily. Pocket Camp is actually a cell phone game. So if you have, I believe you could play it on iTunes or an, an I mean, on an iPhone or an Android or any type of cell phone that has data. So it's, you know, you don't actually have to have a special device like a Switch to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. But uh, I sense this is going to make some noise. So let's pull this little tabby out and see. It could light up or something, but it's going to do something that involves a battery. Oh, stop. It does like the little cash register sound and like when you make a purchase from Nook Shop. Oh my God, that is like the greatest thing ever. I'm obsessed and I hope these batteries are replaceable. It looks like two little watch type batteries. I am in love with this. Stop. I can't. I am so obsessed. This is like the greatest thing in the whole wide world. I didn't even think that there was a chance there would be anything Animal Crossing in here. I'm so excited. I can't even. I can't even. So here are all the varieties you can get. You can get the Dodo Airlines. You can get Isabel. You can get KK Slider. You can get Flick. No, I'm not Flick. CJ, the fisherman. You can get Flick, the bug catcher. Or you can get Tom Nook. Or you can get Timmy and Tommy, Tom Nook's nephews that work in Nook's Cranny. Actually, do they still call it Nook's Cranny in Animal Crossing New Horizons? They did an original Animal Crossing. I've been playing since then, so it's Nook's Cranny to me. But these are so amazing. And honestly, I would have been thrilled with any of them. But having Tom Nook is awesome because he's such a... He's kind of a dick, to be honest, but he's a lovable, curmudgeonly dick. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. But I love him, and that is amazing, and I'm saving that checklist. I'm doing it one more time because it's so much fun. Tom Nook's favorite sound in life, purchases being rung up, because he is quite the businessman. I love that. All right, we're going to do the other big one. Now we're going to do this little white one because I see what looks like a kitty cat peeking out. And you guys are probably like, I can see mostly what that is. So just go ahead and open it, Carrie. So I'm going ahead and opening it, Carrie. Oh my gosh. It is a kitten in a teacup. What is better than a kitten in a teacup? I just thought nothing could beat Tom Nook, but a kitten in a teacup is pretty damn close. All right, let's see. So we got a pink teacup with a little white kitten and let's just appreciate the details of this figure look at the little eyes look at the way the fur is like textured and even the way the little saucer has like the little ridges in it that is so cute i'm not even gonna stress about the little paint imperfection right there even though i did notice it because i'm me and i mess everything up but look at how cute that kitten is oh my gosh okay so let's see here are all the kittens you could have gotten there is, fortunately, this is black and white, so we can't really tell the colors of anything. Oh, look at that one. It's like a grumpy face kitten. There's that one, which I think, is that ours? No, because ours goes to the right. Ours is this one. There's that cute kitten. Oh, they can have patterns on the cups. Okay, some of the teacups have patterns. We got the only, no, there's a couple solids, but that one's more of like a coffee cup shape. That's the other solid one. And then there's like that little patterned kitten over there. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this too. Look at how tiny and sweet, like just look in comparison to like, what can I compare it to? That's like a good point of reference. 
I don't know. It's just teeny. Like, I mean, look at my thumbnail, which is covered in ridges. Forgive me, because it's not very healthy. But look at how tiny that little teacup kitten is. I love her, and she's a her because she's in a pink cup, which I know. It could be a boy, too. And again, I don't judge, but to me, that's a girl kitten. I just decided I want her to be a girl. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the last remaining large capsule. These are so much fun, Jeannie. Oh my gosh, girlfriend. This is amazing. We got an actual watch. Holy cannoli. All right, let's see what kind of watch we got. It has this really... Uh, oh my god. That's an Animal Crossing leaf. That's an Animal Crossing leaf. Oh my god. We got another Animal Crossing thing. No way. Oh god, let's open it. How does it open? I don't want to break it. Oh, we got Isabel! Oh my gosh! I am so in love with this watch. And it is not, of course, set to correct time. It is presently approximately 4.10 or 4.13, depending on which of my clocks you look at. I think the one runs fast. It's probably about 4.10 in the evening or the afternoon. So I have to set it. But oh my gosh! I am obsessed with this watch. I love the colors. I love that Isabel is on there. If you don't play the game, Isabel is like, she does all the work. Well, Tom Nook supposedly does work in like the community center, but basically he's a figurehead. Isabel does all the work. So she is the character that greets you every day the first time you play the game in Animal Crossing and she helps with like special events and stuff, but I love her. And the varieties in this you could have gotten were Tom Nook and his nephews, Timmy and Tommy, Isabel, which we got, Tota KK, better known as KK Slider, the Able Sisters, who are in charge of all the fashions in Animal Crossing, and last but certainly not least, Celeste and, oh God, why am I forgetting her brother's name that run, and Blathers that run the museum, the Owl Siblings. So yeah, there you go. And there's the covers. There is the owl, the Able Sisters logo with the little button on the stitches, KK's guitar. We have the leaf for Isabel, and we also have the leaf for Tom Nook and the boys. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. And last but not least, guys, we're going a lot of focus. We have one more small capsule, and that is this little yellow one. And in here we have... Dun, 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 dun. a little key ring of some kind like on a ball chain and that is definitely gonna challenge me opening it but I'm gonna I'm gonna be determined I'm gonna tear through this sucker maybe not but I'm gonna try now all right I made an effort we're gonna see if we can snip this I am right-handed but it's hard to snip things sometimes when you've only got the one hand you don't realize until you try it, try it, you'll see. And let me see, hopefully I can get this out of here because it's got a lot of tape around the ball chain part. Now, let me put it down for a sec, hold on. Okie dokie, now let's get this in focus. So we have two little characters. There's this one. I do not know who this is. And then we have this one. So it's like fire and ice or something. Or fire and water. Let's see who these guys are. Okay. It's a Karatomi Arts, but it doesn't miss. Oh, okay, so this is Pokemon related too, I guess, because there's Pikachu. So let's see. There are a bunch of duos that you can get. There's one. There's two. Three. I'm trying to get this focused. Four, five, six is the one we have. Seven and eight. For sale in Japan only. I guess unless you get the gotcha gotcha box. But that is really cute. So I guess they're like best buds, which is why they share the same ball chain. Let's see. If this gives us any additional information. Mm, not really. Just Nintendo Pokemon. But let's bust into our little booklet and then we can see better what we have. Ah! 
I can't believe it. I'm so excited that we got Animal Crossing things. Two Animal Crossing things even. That's amazing. All right, so here we go. Animal Crossing watch. Why is this not focusing? Keep time with villagers from your favorite island in Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Receive one of five character watches. And they actually pictured the one we got, which is Isabel. Then we have the Animal Crossing keychain. Enjoy sound drops from your favorite Animal Crossing New Horizons with this keychain. From the oh-so-familiar music from composer Totaka, to, Totaka. Totaka. Okay, sorry. To fishing sound effects, you'll feel transported back into the game with this gotcha pawn. Receive one of seven keychains. So gotcha pawn, I guess gotcha is short for gotcha pawn, which is like a toy capsule, I'm assuming. Then you get a Kirby figure. Oh my gosh, that wasn't Pokemon. That was not Pikachu at all. That was Kirby. Duh. Okay. Yeah, I'm dumb. From the Kirby Battle Royale video game come these cute little Manmaru mascot figures. Receive one of five. Okay, I'm stupid. We all knew that. Then we have a Pokemon keychain. It's double the Pokemon for double the fun with this keychain with Pokemon combinations seen in Pokemon the movie. Coco, aka Coco. Okay. Receive one of eight variations. Then we've got Demon Slayer Pouch. Okay. From the first series of the Demon Slayer Square Pouch Pochi Collection. Keep your po pokey. Po pocky? I don't know. Keep your items protected and organized in your bag slash backpack. Each pouch is super cute with themed icons and each character is shown front and back. Receive one of five character variations. Did I even notice that it was on the back too? I did not. Oh my gosh, little booty. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, I love the little tears. Like, that's so me. And then we have our teacup cat. These cats fit just right in their accompanying teacups. Keep at your nightstand or desk for the cutest companion. Receive one of six variations. Then we've got, again, the Gotcha Gotcha community. There's just people posting photos, some pictures that people have posted of their items that they have received. I am obsessed with this subscription box. This is so much fun. Again, social picture contests. You can post what you've got and you can win prizes. And then again, there is a coupon that you can use. If you go to this online shop, you can get $3 off, $15 or more purchase. Feel free to use the code. And then more about Animal Crossing. Released on March 20th, 2020. I didn't even realize that's when it came out because I didn't start playing until, well, I got my Switch Lite in June and started playing, I think, the beginning or middle of June. I played a little bit on my husband's because he got one first because we weren't sure if we'd love it or not. As it turns out, I love it. He doesn't. So we should have actually just, he should have given me his instead of us buying a second one. But when we got our stimulus money, we splurged and bought a second uh switch light but anyway um i'm obsessed with it i play the game every single day and a half since i got it so i've been playing since probably the end of may beginning of june so i missed the first couple months but anyway so we are about to hit the first year anniversary of poke uh, pokemon of animal crossing new horizons which is super super cool but anyway let me start over again released on march 8th 20 <laughs> March 20th, 2020. Gosh, I can't read. Animal Crossing New Horizons is the 8th. There's where I got the 8th. And so far the newest main series game from the Animal Crossing series. The story starts with the player living on a deserted island as part of Nook Inc. Getaway Package and allows much more freedom to customize their island than previous games while meeting and interacting with over 300 plus villagers who are the animals who live on the island. Some of the most popular characters from the game. There is Isabel, K.K. Slider, Tom Nook, Timmy and Tommy, his little twin nephews, Flick, CJ, and the Lathers. So stinking adorable. So I am probably even more excited about this box than I was about the first, and I loved the first. The March one was amazing, but February I may be loving even just a little bit more, although the first one had Sanrio. And Sanrio I've loved even longer than Animal Crossing, but I got two Animal Crossing items. So I don't know. It's I'm hard pressed to choose, but both of these boxes were amazing. So thank you so much, Jeannie, for giving these to me. You have no idea how much joy you brought into this day. This is actually a pretty damn good day for me. It has been like atypically positive so far but this just made it even better i adore you you know this i'm sending you so many virtual hugs and so much love from 
my little island down to you in Virginia Beach. Hopefully having a beautiful day. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for future upload notifications. And thank you for spending some time with me today. I really, really do appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your day and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys.